Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Throwback Thursday, and you know what that means. Old stuff. First up, we have another old-timer retrospective, hashtag OT Retro, and this one is a shout-out to the Jabs family. Eric Jabs has a massive channel, thousands of subscribers, and he is recovering from his thyroid cancer surgery. Uh, as you know, cancer is the great equalizer. It does not care if you are young or old, what color you are, where you're from. It can strike anyone, anytime, as it struck my family. So, Eric, I hope you are feeling better on the mend, and this one's for you. We're taking a look at Bill Madlock, the Mad Dog. Take a look at his action pack card. As I showed one of these earlier through the Eight Breaks of Hanukkah, they're just a fun card from back in the day. Bill Mad Dog Matlock is one of the greatest hitting third basemen of all time. He is a four-time National League batting champ, 75, 76, 81, and 83. He won the 1979 World Series with Eric's beloved Pirates. He was a three-time All-Star, 1975, 81, and 83. Here is the, all, the, you know, the highlight card of his last batting title in 1983. Look at the awesome Pittsburgh Pirate unis from back in the day. Uh, this is, I think, 1982 Fleer, one of the ugliest sets of all time with terrible photography, but just a fun one because look at that yellow on that Pirate jersey. Woo! Now, a couple fun facts about Bill Madlock. He had 150 college scholarship offers to play basketball. How about that? Very cool. Uh, he also played early in his career, won his first two batting titles with the Cubbies, and replaced legendary Ron Santo at the hot corner for the Cubs. Uh, he won those back-to-back -back batting titles, 75-76. And in 1975... He was the All-Star Game co-MVP with this guy. You got Madlock and Matlack. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? You can see how deep my collection rolls. Got a little John Matlack autograph. And there's my Bill Madlock autograph. Make sure we're in focus. Bada bing, bada boom. And this is the last one I'll show off of Bill Madlock. The 1983, let's again make sure we're in focus. There we go, 1983 tops. And uh, last little tidbit about Bill Madlock. There's a lot about him, but uh, last little tidbit. He is the only MLB player in history to win four batting titles who is not in the Hall of Fame. How about that? I mean, can he get a little love for the Hall of Fame? He ended his career over 300. I think he was a 305 career hitter. And these years he was winning the batting, batting title, he was hitting like 340, 350. I mean, just an all-around incredible hitter. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rip, of course, we're going to rip some 82 Donruss and see if we can't find ourselves a Bill Madlock card. Uh, pick this up off eBay. You can tell uh, it's definitely been around. Look at the shrink wrap is like all worn and warped. And I don't know if it was sitting in the sun or what, but... Uh, I was like, you know, I haven't ripped any Donruss. And so I wanted to grab this and see if we can't have a little fun, get a little lucky with a little Donruss rip. All right, let's slide them all out here. Whoop. There we go. All right. Oh, they got a little bit of weight to them. I guess that's because we don't think of, you know, we don't get the packs with 15 cards anymore. I think this one's got... You know, plus the puzzle. Yeah, 15 cards, three puzzle pieces. I'm imagining, you know, the reason you don't see me rip a lot of wax or crack wax is because I always worry that they've been opened and searched. And the rack packs, you know, you can just kind of guarantee that they're not going to have that problem. Even though, as we often discuss on the channel here, the collation could always be suspect. Ooh, nice Carlton Fisk. This is kind of a fun set from back in the day with the big bat and everything. Old George's brother, Ken. Mike Prawley, probably going to play for the Phillies. Another Philly. Yeah, 
and Bobby Mercer. Not bad. I pull a lot of Fisk in these uh, Throwback Thursdays, huh? I mean, where are my Fisk fans at? I pull so much Carlton Fisk. I wonder if he just had tons and tons of cards in the sets in the 80s. Another Cubby there. Don Money. Money for nothing in baseball for free. Let's see if we can't get lucky with a Ripken auto or a Ripken rookie. Come on now. Jim Morrison, not the musician. Jim Morrison sands the doors. All right, last pack. As always, check the description below for the link to the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship. Pledges get cards, y'all. There's another pirate. Look at that. He got the big thick glasses on. Love that yellow. They should just play in that all season. That's pretty cool. I do have my Dick Perez Artist Spotlight episode coming up. There will be giveaways. Uh, and there you go. See, there's a little Perez down there. The legend, the Diamond King himself, Dick Perez. Another pirate. We got a, This is a pirate-heavy episode. Look at those glasses. <laughs> wow, not a lot. Oh, there we go. Hall of Famer Rod Carew. Not a lot of big hits, but a couple Hall of Famers. Another nice Fred Lynn. And Steve Stone, the broadcaster who my dad reminds me all the time that he was a pitcher because I just, it never registers with me that he was a player. I grew up listening to him and Harry Carey on WGN, and I just never thought of him as a player. But there you go. Steven Michael Stone. Well, uh, leave a comment, everybody. Let me know what you thought of uh, the OT Retro today. Close it out here with a nice close-up of uh, the Bill Madlock autograph and his action-packed. Always a fun card set to have. So like I said there, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And remember, slam that like button, make sure you're subscribed, tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.